Hello grade 1 students, today we're going to take the new reading lesson of unit 4, week 4. Its title is Creep Low, Fly High. Also today we're going um, to talk about the new genre. Actually it's not new because we talked about it in class previously. It's the fantasy genre, means not real fake we usually use the fantasy genre when we have animals or they are trying to talk or act like human beings means like us for example if we are reading a story and we have animals are talking or they are cooking like us or something or doing any other action uh, that we do it means this is fake this is not real so the gender of that story will be fantasy. Fantasy means not real. I know that all of you know it, but I need to remind you about it. Now, let's read all together. I'm going to read some words for you and explain each page for you. Then, um, then we will read them all together, the pages together. The title of our lesson is Creep Low, Fly High. It talks about insects. What kind of insects can you see in this picture? I guess that you are going to count them and you will say one, two, three, four, five. We have five kinds of insects over here. We have the bee, grasshopper, ant, ladybug, and caterpillar. So we have five kinds. I'm going to say their names again. <clears throat> we have here the bee, grasshopper, ant, ladybug, and caterpillar. Fine. What, what do you think the season of uh, that is in this story? I think that I'm I guess that you will say it's a spring season. Why? Because we have a lot of a lot of insects. They are happy going out, and there are a lot of flowers, and trees, and and le the leaves and this stuff. So we know that we are in spring season. What now? I'm going to ask you an an a very important question. What insects do you know about? If you know any type or kind of insects just do not hesitate to say it out out loud other than other than uh, the one that you are uh, that you can see in this picture for example we say the bee grasshopper and um, we, we say the ladybug caterpillar what do we have maybe we can say cricket we can say the fly the wasp mm, we can say a lot of a lot of kinds of, of insects now, let's start with the first page. Uh, I'm going to tell you something that the, 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 title, the title of the lesson was Creep Low, Fly High. That one was the big title. Now we have a heading. The heading is the title for every paragraph. For example, we have this paragraph that starts on this page and ends on this page, if you can see. And we have this one, Bug Boosts. This is not a title. We call it Heading. We call it Heading. So this is not a title because the title is the... Uh, the title must be uh, before the lesson starts. But the heading is a title for every paragraph. The title... It is, it is for all the paragraphs, while the heading, it's only for every paragraph. For a single paragraph means. So what do we call this? We call it heading. What do we call it? Heading. Say it again. Heading. Can you copy me by saying, uh, by answering? What is the, what do we call this? Heading. Bravo, amazing students. What can you see in this picture? I guess that you, you're going to say that the grasshopper is flying with the ladybug, having fun flying with the bee, 
and the caterpillar and the ant they are on the ground all of them they are happy what's the other meaning of happy glad and the other blast amazing so all of them they are having fun all together and they are happy in nature if you remember the high frequency words we have the word laugh listen and fancy okay now this new picture oh i guess someone is feeling sad and is going away do you can you see to the can you see this this caterpillar the caterpillar the caterpillar maybe maybe is feeling sad or something and is going away and the animals they are shocked okay what is the heading of in this of this two pages what is the heading here it is missing amazing the heading here is missing perfect what the animals are doing in this page what the animals are doing over here they are out on a picnic amazing they are out on a picnic they took some stuff with them to do picnic who's missing in this page we can see the the uh, the bee grasshopper ladybug um and someone is missing who is he caterpillar we're going to see where is the caterpillar let's see if his friends are going to ask about him here in this picture maybe the animals or the insects the insects they are trying to discuss where did the caterpillar went they don't know did you see all of them they are shocked and 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 surprised because the caterpillar is in here and here maybe and here maybe maybe the ladybug and the ant they are discussing together and sharing ideas about the caterpillar maybe i don't know here we have the word no where flu and coat okay what is the heading of this of these two pages what is the heading it is still a pal still a pal this is the heading still a pal this is the heading of uh, of these two pages what's going on in this picture all of them they got amazed and they got surprised and happy what's going on in this picture i guess that you will say um um can you see here the bee she's happy also the ladybug the grasshopper and the ant all of them they are they're smiling and happy they are amazed what do you why do you think I guess that you're going to say because this caterpillar when she went away she came back as a butterfly it's a beautiful butterfly can you see its fancy wings these are the fancy wings of the butterfly can you see they are very nice so the caterpillar needs time in order to to be a butterfly at first the butterfly is a caterpillar then it changed to be a butterfly amazing here in this uh, uh, in these two pages we have the word beautiful <clears throat> from the high frequency words did you see how the pals, uh, how the friends they are very happy with the caterpillar that now she's a butterfly Mm, do you think that they have to change because they have to change their minds about the friendship with the caterpillar because now it's a butterfly mm, i don't think so because we have to accept people <clears throat> we have to accept people so we have to accept people with kindness whatever they are if they changed if they do not we have to keep going with our with our kindness now you have to read each page at least three times means you have to practice reading the lesson at least 
three times. Do not forget the reading challenge that we have. Now I'm going to let uh, I'm going to let the video to read the lesson for you. Okay. Let's start. Are you ready? Fine. I'm going to start. Creep low, fly high. Bug boasts. The sun came up over a big field. Five bug pals met to chat and laugh. Grasshopper boasted a bit. I can hop to the top of any plant. Well, I can dash fast, bragged Ant. Listen, hummed Bee. I can buzz as I fly high. And I can zip around on fancy spotted wings, smiled Ladybug. Not I, sighed Caterpillar. I just creep, creep, creep. Then he crept away. Come back. His pals wailed, but Caterpillar did not. Missing. It was time for lunch. The bugs did not see Caterpillar. He was missing. Where did he go? I think I know where he is, cried Ant. He is hiding because he feels bad. I think that's right, nodded Grasshopper. Let's find him. We can cheer him up. The two rushed away. What if he is not hiding? asked Bee. I saw a bird when we were chatting, added Bee. It flew low in the sky. What if it caught our pal? cried Ladybug. We must find out. Maybe we can save him. The two flew away. Still a pal. The bugs did not find Caterpillar. Many days went by. The pals were sad. Then one day they saw a beautiful bug with gold wings. Hi, I'm back, the bug called as he flew by. I wrapped up and rested. Then I popped out like this. It's me, Butterfly. I used to be Caterpillar, cried Butterfly. But you are not the same, sighed Ant. But I am still a pal, said Butterfly, and now I can flit and dip. Let's go have some fun. <laughs>